I'm going to show you how to use one of the new features in Helium Scraper that let you extract to different tables in the database and keep this data related according to how it is related in the website we are extracting from. For instance, let's say I want to extract these forums. I want to extract these top level links. I also want to extract these links inside each of the top level links. And I also want to extract the content inside each of these. So I'm going to have three tables and three levels and I need to keep this data related. Uh, I'm first going to create a kind for the top level links. Then I'm going to create a kind for the links inside each of them that I'm going to call middle level links. And then I'm going to create one more kind that selects the content inside. Now I need to make sure these two kinds are working on some other page. Should be good enough. Now, what I'm going to do is first, and I'm going to start on this page. I'm going to extract the top level links to the top level table. This ID column here, I'm going to keep it there because I'm going to need it later on. Now I'm going to navigate inside each of these top level links, which are these right here. And inside each of them, I'm going to extract the middle level links. I'm going to call this middle level table. Uh, I need to keep this table related to this table. So what I'm going to do is extract the ID top level table property. This property was created when I created this table. Whenever you create a table and use the ID uh, corresponding property, ID property is going to be automatically created. As a kind, I can actually use any kind that is going to be selected, that is going to, is going to be found in the in whatever page I'm extracting from. So the body kind is always a good choice because every web page has a body. And really every element in that page is gonna have the same ID top level so it doesn't matter I could use this one or this one. I'm just gonna keep it like that. Oh this is the top level ID. Now, uh, I will be in, inside one of these, right? So inside one of these, I would I would navigate the middle level links, and then inside, I will be here, right? So then I'm navigating inside each of those. And inside each of those, I'm going to extract the content. And same thing as I did before. I'm going to extract now the middle level table ID. And that should be it.
so uh, as you can see here on the top level table each link has a corresponding unique ID and if you go to the middle level table these IDs correspond to this ID right here this number one corresponds to all these number ones here and then if you go to the content table uh, these IDs correspond to these IDs right yeah so this number two correspond to all this number two right here but there is an easier way to see all this data together and I'm going to show you how to do it as soon as this instruction finishes actually I just I can just show you there this quick data view feature let you drop extract actions here and it shows you the content in the in the table that is related to this to the struct whatever struct action you drop there. But if you drop more than one, it's going to join these these tables um, according to their IDs and show the whole thing. So as you can see here, these announcements are these announcements. And if you go inside these items here are these items. These are repeated here because there is one for each content. This uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rows here correspond to these seven these seven items right here, which are six replies and, and this right here. 